I'm really enjoying my Synology RS1221 NAS. This is a rack mount NAS that has a short depth and fits perfectly in my closet rack. It has eight built-in bays and can be extended up to 12, which is just what I need for my file storage and backups. But there is one thing that I don't like about it, and that's the fan noise. Hey, I'm Jerry. And since migrating to the RS1221 Plus a couple of weeks ago, I have not had any issues with the Synology NAS. It's fast for what I need. It has plenty of storage bays to expand if I need to, and it sits mostly out of the way in my master bedroom closet. My only complaint about the NAS so far is the fan noise. And yes, I fully expected the fans to be a bit loud because of the fact that this is a rack mount unit. And I don't hear it during the day at all because I'm not sitting around it. But as silly as it sounds, I do hear it when I'm in my master bedroom and I don't wanna keep the closet door closed. So I'm going to be swapping out the fan, fans, for hopefully much quieter Noxua fans. Thanks to this Reddit post about changing out the fans in the RS1221, and this comment from Down to Clown, I ordered these 80 millimeter Noxua CFA8 PWM fans to replace the noisy stock fans inside. And this is a good point to stop and say that any modification like this could have an adverse effect on your warranty, so proceed at your own risk. Also, I don't have a ton of equipment in the closet where this is going to be sitting, and the temperature isn't controlled, and I don't push this device very hard. So I'm not worried about a slight increase in temperature that may happen due to possibly less airflow. Now, just to set a baseline for noise and temperature in this room without the RS1221 Plus running, the noise level, as my Apple Watch hears it, is at about 34 decibels. With the RS1221 Plus running in this room with the default factory fans running in quiet mode, the noise level is around 50 decibels. As for the temperatures, with the NAS turned on, I have a Windows 10 VM running on this Synology and it's running a speed disk test. Plex is streaming to my iPhone and a backup is running all at the same time. The internal CPU temperature is at about 40 degrees Celsius. And the hard drive temps for my Iron Wolf 6 terabyte drives is at about 30 degrees Celsius. Again, all of this is with the fan set to quiet mode. Okay, with the NAS turned off, we can remove the eight screws on top and open up the case to see what we're working with inside. Okay, so with the top off, you can see both of the fans in the back. One of the fans runs the cable under a piece of tape and then up and around. This fan looks like it just comes up from the bottom and plugs in right here onto the motherboard. So these should just be simple swaps. A couple screws on the back, pop these out, unroute the cable, route the new cable in, and hopefully we're all good. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I think we got everything in there. The cords are out of the way, so they're not gonna get sucked into the fan. The cord over here is taped down like the original one was and ran underneath this cable over here. So hopefully we should be all set. Let's go ahead and get this top on and we'll get it powered on and see if it made any difference. All right, we'll hold off on the screws for just a minute. Let's go ahead and plug this thing in and see what kind of noise reduction we got out of this with the new Noxua fans versus the original stock fans. And just right away, I hear almost like a little vibration or something hitting something. So something's not quite right. What did I do wrong? It's this fan over here. Nope. Nope. Oh, the power supply. <laughs> The power supply fan right here is hitting this cable. So I need to rewrap this cable a little bit. So what I'll probably end up doing is just undoing this tape and do two routes through this tape with the wire. And that should hopefully fix that issue. Keep it out of the way. All right, here we go. And yeah, just initial impressions, impressions is that those fans are absolutely quieter right away. And after a few seconds, they quieted down even more. So you can barely even hear them. They're almost inaudible. All right, so the hard drive's just spun up. So we'll give that just a minute to finish booting up and then we'll check the noise level with the new fan configuration. 
Okay, so we are fully booted up, so let's go ahead and check the noise level, which is audibly different to my ears with the new Noxua fans versus the stock fan of the 1221 Plus. So let's see what the Apple Watch says. Wow, so about 37 dB. All right, so at just 37 decibels versus the standard room noise of about 34, 35 decibels, that's a huge improvement over the stock fans. So let's go ahead and see what the temperatures look like on the inside. All right, so we're running the same test that we were previously. We have a backup running. We have Plex streaming to my iPhone somewhere. There we go. And we have a speed test running on a VM that's running on the Synology at this moment. So let's go ahead and check the speed, I'm sorry, the temperature of the hard drives. So if we look at the hard drives, we're running around 33. So just 32, 33, just slightly higher than what the hard drives were running previously with the stock fans. And they 34 degrees Celsius. So three to four degrees higher than what we were getting previously. What about the CPU? The CPU, I believe previously was running about 40 degrees Celsius with the stock fans on quiet mode. So with quiet mode on the Noxua fans, we're a bit higher at 61 degrees Celsius. So that may be a concern for some if you're gonna be running a little bit higher temperature, but we are on quiet mode. So let's go ahead and see what the other modes sound like compared to the stock fans. The stock fans were just super loud at the quiet mode, but in cool and full speed mode, we're just insane. So let's try cool mode and see how that sounds. So the fans, I mean, just an ever so slight increase in noise. I can actually hear the hard drives churning in the box, even in cool mode with the Noxua fans versus the stock fans in quiet mode. They were so loud, I couldn't hear the hard drives at all. So let's try full speed and see how that sounds. All right, so at full speed, it actually sounds quieter than the stock fans did in quiet mode. Let's actually verify that with the Apple Watch. All right, so yeah, the Noxua fans are about 45 decibels using full speed mode, which is still quite a bit quieter than the stock fans in quiet mode. So after just a few minutes of running the fans in full speed mode with the Noxua fans, we are down to around 50 degrees Celsius. So probably a bit more palatable for some. All right, so I guess that's it. Pretty simple process to swap out the stock fans of the RS1221 with something more quiet like the Noxua fans. And I'll have those in the description below if you're interested. Some people may have concerns about the slight increase in temperature of the CPU and the hard drives. That's not something that I'm necessarily concerned about because the room that I have it in in my rack is temperature controlled and me pushing this device is not something that's going to really happen all that often. But I wanna know what you guys think. Is this something that you're planning on doing with your 1221 Plus or any other Synology NAS? Let me know below. I'd also like to know, is there another option for fan that provides more airflow but is still quieter than the stock fans? I'd love to know that too. If you're interested in seeing how I migrated from a DS420 Plus over to the 1221 Plus, keeping all of my data without having to restore or do anything like that, check out this video right over here. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it, hit subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time.